when I was really young, seven years old, um, I used to just run in my neighborhood. My first coach saw me running in my neighborhood and begged my mom to join the track team, so that's how it all started. I had a lot of injuries later on in my career, post-college just dealing with injuries back to back. Quad strains and <laughs> things like that that I've just had to overcome throughout my career. I've always had this driving force that I couldn't explain behind me and push me to keep going. Focusing on what the goal was and what I wanted to accomplish. I always felt like I wanted more. It's definitely hard to just be fast all the time. I've won the Diamond League twice already, and to make it three would be great. It's exciting. This is one of the best Diamond League meets on the circuit for sure. Little has started very, very quickly. As has Galila Mohammed. Leah Springer yet to get into this, but she will finish strongly. So it's Dalila Muhammad down the back straight in lane five. Geneve Russell will now know that Muhammad started much more quickly. Little trying to stay with Dalila Muhammad. If anything, Shamir Little just rising first there. Geneve Russell with a little bit of work to do here. And Leah Springer has a long, long way behind at this point. George Ann Moline having a good run in lane two. So it's Mohammed, the Olympic champion from Shamir Little. George Ann Moline on the inside. Geneve Russell coming. Ailey Doyle not too far away here. Mohammed, one more barrier, takes it well. Shamir Little trying to close down, which is not going to catch her. Dalila Mohammed wins again. Little, then Russell, tight between Springer and Doyle. I think Springer maybe just finishing ahead of the British athlete. Well, Dalila Mohammed attacked this from the beginning was never really headed for a short while down the back straight, maybe through 200 metres. It looked as though Shamir Little might get on terms, but Mohammed stayed strong and looked much better than anybody else on that occasion. 53-88, the winning time. This was a little bit like the, the Dalila Mohammed we, we saw last year and the year before. I mean, everybody's talking, of course, about Sydney McLaughlin in the US and what we're going to expect from her in the next couple of years. And there are others who are making this, uh, are going to make this a really interesting event. They're heading into Doha and then Tokyo. Dalila Mohammed maybe just giving a, a little nod and a hint that, hey, don't write me off yet. You know, I, I'm still capable of winning the big races. She's certainly done that tonight. <laughs>